gonna show you some instruments you're gonna need for a cat spade kit. First instrument is some straight forceps. So this holds the tissue in place and then it also compresses any vessels or arteries that may be bleeding. Leave it open just so it can be cleaned in all areas. So that's your straight forceps. We also have some smooth forceps and some rat tooth forceps. Um, as you can see, it's got a little tooth there. I don't know if you can see it. And then that one doesn't. So that's the difference between the two there. And this allows the vet to um, move the tissue around um, during surgery instead of using their hands. We also have some needle holders here. And this allows the vet to um, suture the needle through any muscles or skin of the patient and um, to close them back up after the surgery. These are used for holding the drape into place. So the drape is vital for helping the area stay sterile throughout the procedure. Scalpel handle here. Um, that's what that looks like. And if it will focus, if you can look closer, there's like a little slit there and that's where the scalpel blade will go. And this is used to make the first incision of the patient. We then have the spay hook. Um, it's very small compared to a bitch spay kit. And this allows the vet to remove the uterus so she can then uh, remove the ovaries from the patient. And then lastly, we have some scissors here to cut any tissue that's no longer needed from the patient. What's really important when uh, packing a cat spay kit or a bitch spay kit is having um, x-ray swabs so x-ray swabs as you can see have this little thread there and this is detectable by the x-ray machine if the vet's concerned that they've left um, a swab inside the patient we just pop them under the x-ray and this is highlighted so we can then go back in and remove that swab um, it's very rare that happens but that's why we always count how many swabs we put in the kit as well. We always place five in ours, so five x-ray swabs need to go in there as well. We also have a indicator strip as well here. So this will change color. This yellow part will go black um, once it's been sterilized and it just lets us know, um, or the nurses know and the veterinary surgeon know that this has been sterilized and it is um, good to use for the surgery. We also need a sterilization pouch. Um, so this is what it looks like from the front. You would place the kit in this way. And then if you look on the back, it also has another indication strip there as well when it's been autoclaved. Um, this will change color. We have some tape that will also be, that will also change color once it's been through the sterilization process. Here's a recap of the instruments you'll need for your cat spay kit. Lastly, we have a plain small drape that we're going to wrap the kit in. Now I'm gonna show you how we wrap this kit. Firstly, I unwrap a small plain drape from a sterile pouch and lay it flat on the table. I then begin to place the x-ray swabs in the middle of the drape. I start to place the straight forceps on top of the swabs, ensuring they are open before placing them in the kit. I stack the straight forceps on top of each other. On the opposite side of the straight forceps, I begin to place the Olsen needle holders and scissors. I then place the towel clamps, smooth forceps and rat tooth forceps on top, along with the scalpel handle, spay hook, and lastly, an indicator strip. Now I begin to fold the small plain drape. Once I have finished this, I place a strip of tape to hold the drape in place. packed 
in a sterilisation pouch. The pouch has a dotted line that the fold must follow. I remove the sticky strip and then seal the sterilisation pouch. It is important to name and date the kit so other nurses and vets know what's inside and when it was last sterilised. I now place the finished kit in the autoclave so it can begin to be sterilised. The kit has now been autoclaved and I must carefully take it out so it can dry. As you can see, the indicator at the back has changed colour. This ensures us that it is now ready to use. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos, peace.